What was the real reason that Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles broke up? The internet was shocked when news came out that they are either taking a break from their relationship after nearly two years together or splitting up indefinitely. Just yesterday, Olivia was spotted browsing at a flea market in LA looking upset while being hugged by her friends. So why did they break up? Well, like so many celebrities before them, apparently Harry and Olivia were being pulled apart not by anything scandalous, but by major scheduling conflicts. According to Page Six, the singer is preparing to kick off the South American leg of his tour and Olivia has firm plans of her own to head to London where she will be busy filming a documentary and spending time with her two kids Otis and Daisy. As a result Olivia and Harry decided not to wait for distance to officially drive them apart and preemptively pause their romance. One source close to the couple said they're on a break. It's impossible to have a relationship when he's in every continent next year and Olivia has her job and her kids. This is the right thing for both of them. Another source told people he's still touring and is going abroad. She's focusing on her kids and her work in LA. It's a very amicable decision. They're still very close friends. Right now they have different priorities that are keeping them apart. To a lot of people the news does come as a bit of a shock because just last week on November the 15th Olivia brought her kids to Harry's concert in LA where they were all spotted dancing and singing along. And just last month she was seen by fans cheering on Harry from the crowd at his Harry Ween concert in LA on October the 31st. Not to mention that in in late September, the two of them seemed to be going strong and were photographed kissing on the streets in New York City. But while it's unclear who allegedly ended the relationship, it has been reported that they had been growing apart after two years together. And realistically, we know that their relationship wasn't without its challenges. Over the course of their romance, the couple have had to endure drama surrounding the release of their film Don't Worry Darling, mostly persistent claims that Olivia was feuding with the film's leading actress Florence Pugh. The couple also got a lot of hate while they were together, most of it coming from Harry's fans directly who didn't like the fact that Olivia was 10 years older than him and directed the movie that he was starring in. There was also a lot of talk about how there was some kind of a power imbalance in their relationship. Most of the criticism was directed at Olivia because fans felt that she had moved on too quickly after breaking up with her ex-fiance and father of her children Jason Sudeikis. The former couple called off their seven year engagement in November last year and had both been back in the dating game ever since. So with all things considered there's no doubt that the public pressure on them would have been difficult. In fact, Olivia has opened up before about why she keeps details of her love life private. She said, I think once you crack open the window, you can't be mad when mosquitoes come in. For his part, Harry told Rolling Stone in August, I've never talked about my life away from work publicly and found that it's benefited me positively. There's always going to be a version of a narrative and I think I just decided I wasn't going to spend the time trying to correct it or redirect it in some way. But with or without the public scrutiny, Olivia's former nanny, Erica Janine, believes that the couple was bound to break up sooner or later. In an explosive interview with the Daily Mail, she claims that the actress has been dumped by Harry and said that's what happens when the ugly finally comes out. I am beyond ecstatic that Harry dropped her like a hot potato. But this isn't even the first time that their former nanny has come out exposing them. In October, Erica claimed that Jason lay in front of Olivia's car after hearing that she was going to see Harry. She also said that Harry had a fling with his co-star Florence Pugh before ultimately settling down with Olivia. And that the affair had caused a fallout between the two actresses. Although we might need to take everything that she said with a grain of salt, considering that the former couple have put out a joint statement against her, saying, as parents, it is incredibly upsetting to learn that a former nanny of our two young children would choose to make such false and scurrilous accusations about us publicly. We will continue to focus on raising and protecting our children with a sincere hope that she will now choose to leave our family alone. So it's likely she might be trying to expose them out of spite, and maybe she's nothing more than a disgruntled employee. Still, if Olivia and Harry have been naturally growing apart for quite some time now, or they've broken up due to scheduling conflicts, it's likely that there's no bad blood between them and they'll be able to remain friends, which is honestly the best possible outcome. Well, that's all the story that we have for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.